Here again on Pillow Mountain. The great Amberlynn Reed. Have you ever heard of her? Hello, Willow Davis. How's it going? Okay, so you guys may not realize this, but it is very cringe for me to go back and watch old videos. And I think that that probably goes for a lot of people who make videos on YouTube and even if just create things and put it up online or whatever just going back looking through your old work uh, is is uh, very difficult to do because you see the change in yourself that you make over time I'm gonna search myself right here and and so going back and just seeing the things that you like didn't know or things you did wrong is just very very cringeworthy uh, so I want to go back and just take a look at some of my top videos. Some of them over a year, some of them even more. Let's uh, take a look here. Mem oh yes, like membership, I, th I think I'm good. I don't wanna support this guy. He lost my support after WDNN went off the air. So anyway, yeah, the cringe. Um, and I, this goes, I guess, for anyone who wants to make videos as well or interested in starting YouTube, you kind of just have to start and like just start uploading things. Let me shrink myself here and learn from your uploads what's like working and what's not. I mean, like there's no amount of preparation that's going to be as helpful as just trying it out, especially if you want people to subscribe, you're gonna need kind of like a backlog of content, unless you come out with something that's really stellar. You know, I feel like people don't really wanna subscribe in hopes that you'll make more good videos. So you gotta kind of examples. So that, my, that was my philosophy going into this. I have no idea what I'm doing, let me just start uploading videos and learn from them until something works, most popular. Okay, so I think I have, I have like 11 videos that have over 100,000, but many of them are uh, on a very similar um, topic or category. So I think I should watch some of the top videos from various, we'll, we'll call them categories. There's Steven Asante, Amber Lynn, Justin Asante even. Lots of reactions, Foodie Beauty, Eric Cook, where's the... Where's the, oh yeah, Eric Cook for a day. That's a classic. I really messed up not making that 10 minutes. Anyway, okay, scoot me down a bit more. God, I'm not ready for this, because I know, I know how bad the first couple of popular videos are with the, the monotone voice and the lack of presentation skills. I mean, hopefully you see a difference between then and now. I would like to think I've improved in many ways, but you be the judge. Okay, so obviously this is the big hit, the the reaction to the Steven Asante rant. But I think we should just get it over with and do the first popular video on my channel. The first one that really stuck with people. Because I was making videos before the reactions and stuff for like 20 people or something. Okay, as you can imagine, I don't want to dwell on this topic for too long. But this is the first video that actually worked. The problem with Amberlynn Reed? I think, I think the thumbnail really did it. I'm very, very proud of this thumbnail idea. That was all me. Oh god. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll help break it down. All the stuff here. Okay, I, I only recorded in 720 here, or that's at least what I uploaded in. That's what we got. Oh, it used to be a, a total meme back when I started, all the cans and garbage on my uh, thing here and the messy closet. See, things that you learn in the process. Okay, so, oh God. Hello, Willow Davis here with a, another review. I'm using a Turtle Beach headset to, to uh, record this. That's why it's uh, got a strange sound. Today's review is actually going to be of a YouTube channel. We're gonna be looking at I, I call it a review because I used to do the occasional, like, beverage review and stuff, which, hey, in the stream yesterday on Twitch, I tried out some, some monsters, some new monster flavors, like the good old days. As you can see, I had bleached hair that I had dyed purple and then had completely faded by the time I filmed this video. The great Amberlynn Reed. Have you ever heard of her? She is, uh, I guess, most known. The music, I guess, is a little loud here in the background. Fun fact. The, the, the music in these early videos, I made them for the, the reason of, you know, avoiding, like, copyright 
claims and stuff or what a pause i just did here my god so yeah i i I dabbled in making some background music for my uh first videos for her supposed weight loss channel that she seems to have gained hundred of pounds since the beginning of it she gets a lot of criticism so cringe Um, you could say more people dislike her than like her seems to be uh kind of like a fun little subculture of uh people that just watch to hate and review and react and look at me now so uh let's take a look at what we got here hey guys so i woke up just a little bit ago I used to I used to format it like this. I would show the little clips from the video and I would edit them at the time and then I would talk about them. And uh that that was fun. People enjoyed that a lot, but uh I don't know. I feel like more people liked just kind of me sitting here watching the video. Um I'm getting some laundry done. Just fed my Twinkie Star. All right, right off the bat here, she's uh, ready to go. She's licking her chops. I go, um, I'm getting some laundry done. Just fed my Twinkie star. This is so cringe to me. The little eye movie effects, all the little, all the little noises there. Okay, I'm gonna skip around here. Best friend. Yeah, we've seen how you treat your other dogs, Amber. A dog here named Trixie. Ah, that was that was mean of me. That was admittedly kind of mean of me. Um, yeah, yeah. Throwback to her uh, showing something on her bed and Trixie coming up and her just kind of like one one handing her away like that. You know, I think I uploaded that clip to Twitter and it uh it got me a block from Eric Cook. So uh, you know what? It was it was a little far, Eric. I'm sorry. That was my bad. I'm also I'm sorry for the cursing in this video. Also, this. I, you know what? I think this this video is actually permanently demonetized. I would go out and clip out the the, the curses and stuff now, but I, it's too late. It's been manually reviewed by an actual human being, and they said no, you 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 can't make money off this. By the way, <laughs> a lot of these videos blew up uh, before my channel was monetized, so as many views as they got did not make full profits on it which is unfortunate but i guess that's one of the ways that youtube stops people from making money off of just like shock horrible content okay top two videos on my channel here are steven asante first one being the the reaction to his rant thing and then the other one was kind of just like digging up information about his marriage or something let's see this one this is three hundred sixteen thousand views on, on this one. This one really, I don't know, this one really stuck with folks. I guess YouTube was really recommending it Hello. For, for a bit. Hello, Davis. Got another review thing for you. Do you know Steven Asante? Okay, I had a light for this at this point, making this video. Uh, as you could tell, hair same, washed out purple, still had the same garbage hanging up here at this point all over. Um, I think I got a light. Jamie bought me a light. I think it was for Christmas. Thank you very much. Uh, I didn't know how to use it. As you can tell, it's really not, not doing a whole lot for my video here. It's probably like too dim and too far away. The way I had it, you really gotta, I guess, put it a little closer. <laughs> I was filming, filmed these with my iPhone, um, front camera so that I could see that I was in the frame and stuff. Unlike some of our favorite vloggers who uh, hold the phone backwards to use the better camera. But it doesn't really matter if you don't have the lighting on you because the iPhone cameras need a, a lot of light to look good. Anyway, so this was, I think this was with my iPhone 6S maybe? I think it was the 6S front camera, which I'm pretty sure was only 720, um, plugged the Turtle Beach headset directly into it, and I think was oh I I had I had um I had this thing already this this uh this mount this clip thing for the phone uh as I was there's actually a vlog of me getting this 
because I wanted it for, for vlogging and stuff. So I put this, I like just hooked it onto like a mic stand, had the phone in it, the cord going to it. That was my setup, and then I uploaded it, I put it in iMovie. This was before I had a PC desktop. My 600 pound uh, I also made this music. That. In the background he, here. Didn't he have a YouTube channel? Fat Boy Get Down. He, I think he was on Dr. Phil. I think I was like quiet here because, um, I don't know, I guess because like the mic was so close and also I, I just felt really weird making videos at the time, like in my room, which is still still a problem, but a little ed better mic now. The catfish porno, porno star. star. The edits. I really went in on the edits. The YouTube poop. People will continue to talk. Sh don't let those haters get to you, Steven. Including the media who write articles about me, <laughs> agreeing that she's a catfish, porno, porno star. star. I mean, jeez, a big guy like me, right? That's losing weight, got a skin. Okay, you know, you know, as terrible as my presenting skills were, I gotta say that the editing was funny. Our lips never touched. Our skin never, you know, skin to skin, never touched. Nothing. I did not make so this music. How? Am I a cheater? How am I a player? If I never met you. This might have been a iMovie music. Uh, granted. Granted. We did online date. Yes, we did. Yeah, I think that was like an iMovie default. I used some iMovie stuff and some of my own stuff. Okay, what else? At 142,000 views, we got my interview with Justin Asante. I, I admit, I am not a good interviewer. Uh, my setup was pretty whack at the time. Uh, also, I, I had like just gotten off of work that day and I like brought my laptop to Jamie's and I had this whole janky setup for talking to him. I didn't really have that much stuff planned. People still comment on this video to this day like, wow, dude, you're the worst interviewer ever. Like, I, I know. Not good. Hello, Willow Davis. Had blue hair yes, at this point. It's not clickbait. You're about to see an interview I did with Justin Asan. Still can't talk. Those old classic games, but... I didn't really have a choice back then, right? It was either Nintendo or PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, both. I like Justin. Justin's cool. I think, you know, I think the problem was, I think a lot of people are upset because they wanted, like, the dirt on his, like, family and stuff, which, as much as he really uh, does not like his brother, as it seems and he makes obvious, uh, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, it's like, it's still his freaking, like, family, and I'm sure his dad doesn't appreciate all of it and stuff. Like, people, people were upset I wasn't, like, doing, like, the hard-hitting questions, and I, I felt like that was not the, the, in, my intention at all. Like, I, there wasn't an interrogation or anything. <laughs> I tried, everyone. Oh, this, this video themed around Ricky. Hello. Oh. Hello, Davis here. Joey gave me those, um, fidget spinners, Secret Santa one year. You guys wanted more, and uh, here's something. So, what's going on in the ALRU? I feel, arc see, right I feel there. like I, I like this was, I mean, this was after some of the first Amberlynn stuff. Before that, this was, this was before the Asante stuff, I guess. Looks like, like they, looks like I had recolored my hair at some point. It faded again. What are they planning? I don't know. I'm not reading. I'm not reading. This is the same like me like. Getting clips and editing them and stuff. <laughs> okay. This is Harry's house. So. Okay. Oh I must repent on another thing here. Uh, I, I, looking back at this, I probably did I a good amount of gift shaming, which I should not have done, and I apologize for that. I uh, see you. Got, it happened to you guys too. It was with the intention of comedy, but, but this was their real lives, and <laughs> yeah. This is everything. So who's the boy pussy? Who's the girl pussy? Moving on. Oh, I'm the boy. We also got me imitating Doctor Now reacting to Amberlin. Okay, so how y'all doing? I am in excruciating pain, like Okay, well just how about we start from the beginning and we'll see what we can do to help you. You know the You know this was not nice of me either. You just need to you need to just you need to go to therapy so you can get these feelings under control. You need to uh, push through and you need to walk. It might hurt, but you can do it. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Nazardin. Okay. Dare I, I click on the Eric Cook for a Day skit? 
Hey, people. So, uh, as you can I see... Can't, just, I can't. I can't. I can't. It's too cringe for me. We ended up going to see that movie. Uh, what, what did you think about it? The floating head in the car. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was... I, I was expecting pretty bad, and... My Ricky I mean, impression. I, okay, that... That was also cringe. Hello and welcome back. I think I think well this is a WDNN special. To the third installment of Um D I think I did a uh Dr. Phil impersonate I'm not I'm not impersonating a physician. These are impressions of people who happen to have the word doctor in their name. Today, oh yeah, I think I used flash in this video, like the the flash on my phone camera and my eyes were red and it disturbed a lot of people where's uh where's where's dr F here we go dr phil doctor well thank you willow now folks stay with me here now i know there's plenty of things that amberlynn needs to improve on freaking like beige plastic bag to make myself bald on and there's a lot of wrong things that she can write but now hear me out out of all these things that she uh that she's got going on her making a joke it's not one of the it's not one of the problems and amberlynn don't think that i'm on your side i'm gonna deal with you in a minute but now pretty decent impression i'm gonna stand by that one i'm gonna stand by that dr phil impression certified not cringe amy's life journey reaction hello right? willow davis how's oh, it going oh what a what a fresh face here february 4th one uh, I, I don't know how to start this, so I just hit record and we're just gonna wing it. A lot of people seem to be obsessed with Amy's life journey lately, and by Look people, I guess I now just- Now this is someone having a good time filming a video. Take me back there, am I right? No, I'm just kidding. A lifetime commitment, it's not like, you know, this it's just is, something that's- This is a quality video right here. This is not cringe to me yet. Not gonna last forever, right. um, but he is such a sweetheart. We just picked him up from the airport today. He came in from Iowa, and- I'm also concerned about taking- that's a quality video right there. Oh, here, this one. This one was brutal to make. Me doing impressions of Amberlynn, myself, Zachary Michael, and Michael B. Petty. With, without their permission, um, I just assumed they'd be okay. I mean, it's not like I got anyone else's permission <laughs> when I did impressions. <laughs> Ma'am. What is the truth? I can't, she's so f***ing delusional. Situation type of thing. Hello, Willow Davis, how's it going? My god. Remove the top bun. So, like, like, how did I, how did I, how did I get this far to, to actually follow through with this idea? I'm really nervous to try. It's like, it's like a bun this and the we're too deep in the simulation here. The egg, the tofu scramble, and some kind of... Yeah, I'm done. I'm out. Zach, can you please take over? Well, we sure can try, sis, but I'm not making any promises about anything. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? Sorry, Before, Zach and it's Michael. It's actually pretty good. Breakfast sandwich situation type of thing. So I guess here goes nothing. Ma'am, situation type thing. How? When are you gonna find something new, girl? Mm. When are you gonna? F okay, this is kind of cringe. These. Oh, Becky, I had no idea you were gonna be getting these. I definitely didn't ask you to get these. Tell you to get these. Oh my God. Yeah, that was a lot. Oh, I missed this one. <laughs> Energy, and then other moments. I find that. Uh, I have no energy and I'm so nauseous. And so oh, this is the, the the water fast reaction. Her water fasting. So People will be like, "Why is this man wearing nail polish?" But doesn't do seem right to me. Of this and it does doesn't sound is that is that really the problem? Is that really too far? Society's gone too far for you at that point. I think like maybe a five day fast would probably be more beneficial. Hello, how's it going? Nikocado reaction to what was oh him, oh him on Tosh point oh and him doing his classic trying to trigger vegans talk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cringe that this video from over two years ago before before I started doing the reaction videos, me talking about the 
vegan Doc Martens I get I got off Amazon. Twenty thousand views. Very cringe. This is pre pre Amberlin on my channel. Uh, kind of cleaned everything off. Didn't you know what? I else, so. this was this was a follow up two months later to the original video I made, opening and trying out my Doc Martens, and that was also a video where I had a big problem. Just I couldn't stop with the cursing at the time. This is not a good quality video. This was the original right here. Eleven thousand views. Something came in the mail today, and it's my new fucking Doc Martens that Ooh, I ordered for. Ooh, nasty. This hat is fun to wear in, but honestly, I think it would be fine if I were to wear them out now. I think I could like. Go to work with them if I want to, which I haven't decided if I want to. Nice. The Slaytons. Uh, talking about the Slaytons, um, what, oh, was it Half Ton Sisters or something? What was their show? Didn't realize this video on the Animal Crossing and Doom crossover memes it was at 10k views. I don't, that, that was, that was, that crept up over time because I did not remember that doing well at all. <laughs> Can't believe Twinkie Star the Musical. Only has 7,000 views. Not that I'm demanding more views on it, but I just, it, I don't know. I thought it would have been a smash hit, but I guess i guess my deceptive titles around that time uh, kind of boy who cried wolfed it. Coming soon to Broadway. This is a video that actually exists on my channel. Have you not seen it? Here again on Pillow Mountain The smell of wax melts in the air This is also cringe, but... And alone I start to wonder What the world must be like out there And all the days they blur together I have to go and see beyond the mountain Oh, there's something magic waiting there for me I wrote and recorded the music for this. I made all of that. Listen to this instrumental. I thought it was good, that's all I'm saying. Two of my Animal Crossing episodes got over 6,000 views, that's pretty lit. And then, oh my god, the vegan candy corn video, 4.6 thousand views. I call that a win for personal content making a, a vegan food. I gotta make more, um, I gotta make more cooking stuff. They came out pretty good, I think. I should have left them a little drier than I did. I think I had a, a, a touch too much moisture to them. Hello, good morning. Willow Davis here. How are you? Today we cooking. Do not adjust your set. This is not Julian Solomita. This is not Aries Kitchen. Although I'm just doing this with one hand to start out so I can hold the camera. So that is one of the opposite ones. Hell yeah. Great job, Willow. Oh no, I accidentally clicked on my merch store. Okay. Okay, well that's finally over. I think uh, it's time for me to go wash the cringe off now. Hey, thanks for sticking with me all this time. And if you're new, welcome. And I have this backlog of videos that you're welcome to check out at any time. I wouldn't recommend a lot of them, but you know, it's there. One of my oldest videos. Trip to a Bruce Springsteen concert, me singing opera, vlogs, to concerts and festivals. If you feel like seeing how I got my start. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Smash like if you enjoyed. I appreciate you all and your support. Look, my, my channel's at over five million views because, because of you. Give yourself a like. Hit the bell on yourself. And yeah, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Love being on YouTube and and doing all this stuff. All right, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.